everybody welcome back to my channel um i sorry for the little bit of a delay in getting these out but we're gonna go ahead and finish up the build a page for august we've got three more layouts to do um i had ended up um i had a scrapbooking weekend last weekend and so um, i ended up using a couple days to pack and get ready for that and um had a family party on front or sun yeah, Sunday. So anyway, um, yeah, you know how it goes, life. So anyways, let's go ahead and move forward. Just to recap what we've got so far, um, we have this one here um, that I did, um, and then we have the one of my two grandsons together. So I'm going to put those to the side. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. And then we're going to carry over everything. So I only have these two little stickers left. We have the sticker sheet and the sticker book that I can pick from. We also have the journaling cut apart cards that I have to pick from. And then we have these scraps that have carried over. And then on the last layout, we had a full sheet of paper that we didn't use. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in as well. And we will look at possibly using that. So this is all that I have to play with. We did pick out these stickers ahead of time, and it's basically kind of like nursery room pictures. And the pictures that were, uh, or embellishments, the pictures that we're gonna scrapbook are going to be his announcement photo. So this is, um, the way they let our family know is, is that they first sent a picture of Everett and then they had him in a neutral outfit and then with a girl headband and a boy hat and then they came in and they um, panned out and then came back in with the picture of him with his name and all his stats. So I want to write about that story and how the announcement went and add that to his baby book. So we have the stripe that I carried over. We have the wood grain that we originally picked out for this page. We have the little animals and on the back side is like little forest. And then we have cut aparts. Now looking at it, I had picked the little wood, woodland animals, but I do kind of like this paper as well. So I'm wondering if I can, maybe if I cut it at a six inch to do a band and then piece in the other two I can cut at six, we can do a cut and paste kind of a thing and paste it all in and then see where the stars end up. So let's start with that. Cause I think that pop of blue might look good. So let's see what we have here. And of course, now that I hit record, my neighbor's outside mowing his lawn. So if you hear that, I'm too apologize. It is summer, so, you know, it is what it is. All right, so we have a six inch by 12 inch that we can use as a band and we can always trim a little bit off of it. And then I'm gonna take this six inch and I'm gonna cut it. Do I want it as six inches? All right, first of all, we have this. So I can either have that or I can do animals. And the animals just seem a bit busier. So I think I wanna use this one and maybe I can use some white cardstock to have his pictures kind of stand up against it. But I think I wanna take maybe start with an inch off of it. Okay. So that gets us our main base. Now let's go ahead and work on the vertical. Now I could go six inches. Let's start with that. And I can always cut it smaller. Or do I want four? 
Let's go four, because then I'll still have an eight inch piece that I could play with. All right, so this one I'm gonna put to the side. But this one here, I'm gonna cut it in half. So we're gonna make it three inches. So now I have a little above, and then we'll put a little bit of below. Okay, and then we're gonna have the two pictures kind of going across. Now let's see what we have for other colors here. The blue will be too much by itself. I don't think the stripes will give it enough definition. And again, this is gonna be kind of busier. I need something that's gonna break this up from that. Let's see what I've got. Let's try it on the white and just keep it light and bright because I do have that right here. This is just some Nina white that I have that I keep by my desk. I use it to print out like embellishments if I'm printing my own. So let's go ahead and glue these down and mat it on the white. And that will just make this layout kind of a brighter layout. Whoop, don't want them upside down. And see how it looks. All right. So now we have that right there, a little bit brighter. Now we do, I do have some of the yellow that's left over from. The other day I've got this piece, and I'm thinking if I cut this in half, I can throw another band underneath it. Let's see. It's eight inches, so I'm gonna cut it by four. And then I think I'm gonna go, and it's a four already, so I think I'm gonna cut it, let's go with three and one. I still have that other piece if I don't like it. But I'm thinking if I can put the one inch up here, under there, and then run the three inch under here. That breaks up a little bit and then it gives me a place to do a little bit of embellishing down here. And I think that's good. I don't think I need anything more unless I want to throw it onto a background. And that just looks too busy. That's not bad but I don't know if it really adds anything. I think it's fine just like that. Maybe I'll just do like a black squiggly border. So I think I'm just gonna leave it at this. And then I'm going to grab my T-square ruler just to line everything up. So let's start by putting this down. And I'm only gonna glue in the center, that way I can, I can tuck things.
And that looks straight. And I'm using that line to line it up. So I don't need the T-square ruler there. But for here, I do want the top and the bottom to be okay. So I'm just going to slide this under, butt it up to the T-square. And because this is white background, I'm not going all the way up to that white stripe. I'm going and staying on the brown, and that's going to allow it to have that little bit of a definition so it doesn't all blend in. And then we'll see what happens at the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and line this back up again. And again, slide it under. And again, I'm going to stop this one also on the brown. Okay, now... Now I put this lower than I had it before. So let me see how this looks. I think I'm gonna swap the yellow pieces and have the bigger piece on the top and the smaller piece on the bottom. It really doesn't matter either way. I'm just not centered. Covering up that little, those little animals. Hmm. Wonder if I should move this over more. I just don't want to cover the little lion up because he's cute. So if I move this over a little more, then I can have this one. I can still have it go on top, but just not that far. Okay. And then with this on top, yeah, that's good. So now I just gotta shift this bottom one. see the little critters and again trying to line it up to there and then I think I'll take it over so the pictures go here and then I can build in this corner here where do I want more down I think we're gonna go down And the reason I'm going down is because I, I think with the heaviness being up here, I want to offset that heaviness with my embellishments at the bottom. And there's not as much room at the bottom. We'll see. I'm just going to tack it for now and see what happens. Now let's see if there's any of these that would good be good I like this let him sleep and when he wakes he will move mountains but this one I think is better it says hello world and has that little lion in there And if I put it, and then that's going to make me want to. Oh, I like that. 
because now I can get my three. All right, we're gonna do that there. I was thinking up here, but now that I look at it, this just kind of fits right there and isn't taking away from any of it. like that. And now we just have to add our embellishments. And now we just have like the little, little nursery. And I'm just kind of placing these down right now. Oh, little fox's tail broke, ripped. I'm just kind of like laying these and just placing them very lightly. I'm not putting them down heavy because I don't know if I want to shift anything. But so far I'm kind of liking how this is looking. got the little clothes pins or diaper pins. Actually, we'll go this one here, this one here. This one here, and then we have the little word, word miracle. And then we have the rattle. Let's see if I can move these over. I just gotta avoid covering up toes you know, there's something about baby toes that are just so sweet. All right, so that works. Okay, I'm thinking I like it. And then I have one piece left of this. Oh, actually I've got two. I wonder if I can stick one under here. Maybe one up here. And then I've used up all the stickers that I had put to the side. All right, I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna push everything down. And then the last thing I wanna do is I wanna go through with my G2.07 or 07 Pilot G2 and give it a little bit of a border. I usually do two lines. That way if you're not straight, it looks like it's done intentional. And then you don't have to worry about perfection 
which I am not a part of. we're going to call this one done so make sure you check out everybody else who's playing along and also um, I have another scrapbooking retreat at the end of September so I think what I'm going to end up doing I know a lot of you guys like picking paper and things like that so I'm thinking um, where we're going that won't have um, Wi-Fi, so I'll have to use my hotspot. So instead of doing, as I called it, admin stuff and working on my computer and organizing digital photos, I'm actually gonna scrapbook, but I don't wanna drag my whole room with me. So I think I'm gonna make kits. So I think um, hopefully you guys will enjoy it, but I'm gonna try and get a bunch of um, uh, videos up of me making kits and prepping for this scrapbooking retreat which is at the end of September and then what I'll probably do is when I come back I'll just do a layout share with you guys of everything I made at the retreat so let me know in the comments if that is something that you would like to see I know you have commented before about um, enjoying when I'm picking paper for build a page so it'd be a little bit more than what I normally do and it wouldn't have the process videos that I would normally have with it. It would just be a layout share. But you can see how I prep to get ready for um, an, uh, a crop. So it'd be a few, I'm thinking, thinking 50-ish pages. And then I do have my one box of embellishments that, or um, page kits that never got finished. Um, that I have a box of stuff. So I think what I might do is go in and review those with you guys. Um, they're from all different kinds of things so within the last year. Review them and then see if we can add pictures to them and see if I can clear that box out. So that's kind of my September plan. Um, the other I, um, thing I think I'm going to focus on is just um, scraps. So be on the lookout for that. But We'll try and get back up tomorrow. Like I said, we have two more layouts for this series. We could possibly do a third because now I do have two full sheets of paper remaining. And so um, we'll either roll this into September, get ready for the crop, or we may just throw one more in on the end of build a page and just kill this um, baby kit. Anyway, here we go. Um, pretty simple, just... Um, a little washi tape and stickers and a very adorable baby who is just got grandma's heart beyond belief. Anyway, thank you guys so much and we will see you again on my channel with the fourth layout for this August series. Have a great day.